Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Red Estate. This week is going to be a little bit interesting. Uh, we did take out a crew last time, we've got them all up to level 6. Unfortunately, as you can see from the uh, you know flashing red symbols above some of their heads, um, they're not doing so great. Picked up a number of diseases and also just quite a bit of stress uh, from that outing. And so they need to take a little bit of time off before they're ready to actually tackle the Darkest Dungeon. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to want to level up some characters from the Stagecoach, especially with our newfound Stagecoach room uh, as the characters who have completed the Darkest Dungeon, no longer consuming any space on our roster. And there was a suggestion in one of the comments that I kind of want to try, which was the, the idea of attempting to, uh, for lack of a better term, power level one of our low-level characters, especially because I haven't been getting what I need out of the stagecoach. I haven't been getting a full party of seekers for the classes that I want to actually take out. So right now, I've really only got the one Vestal that I would like to level up. And so we're going to see what we can do for Pesh here as far as getting her uh, to as high a level as quickly as possible. And that means a single dungeon that is long and level five. Now, this could go horribly wrong, but, uh, you know, he who dares wins. So we're going to pop into the embarkation screen, and I'm basically using modified version of the uh, Wine, Woman, and Song. Uh, I've replaced the Jester with Pesh. Thought process there just sort of being that uh, the stress relief isn't super necessary to me right now. Um, if they end up all stressed out, the ones that have already been to the Darkest Dungeon aren't going back out anytime soon. And uh, Pesh herself, she's probably going to freak out, kind of regardless of what happens here. Now, I do have some interesting choices to make regarding uh, her trinkets. I think it is without saying that she is taking the Ancestor's Portrait. She's got to get the 50% Resolve XP. Uh, that's going to be huge for her to shoot right past like level 1 and 2. So, the next question that I have is, what else to bring? I think that like anything else that I would put on her that would try to make her capable of contributing to the level 5 dungeon is just pointless. You know, uh, let's get her a damage buff. It's just, you know, that, that doesn't matter. Even... Get her a heal buff. She's got terrible healing skills compared to an actual champion Vestal. So my choices are kind of limited to, at least as I see it, the Martyr Seal, which is a weird choice for sure. Uh, my thought with that, though, is that is the best death blow resistance buff that you can get. And there's a real good chance that she's going to have to be doing... A lot of death door checks. Alternatively, and yeah, where did where did it go? Where did where did it go? Uh, alternatively, I am thinking about. Come on, I, I know I have one. I have seen this item before. Well, if I can't find it, then I can't find it. Uh, trinket name. These are the D's I'm looking for. E H Hero's Ring. There we go. Uh, I've never, I've never used either of these actually, so uh, I, I wasn't super familiar with what the uh, the ring actually looked like. So I could try for the added virtue chance instead. It's a question of which is going to be most dangerous to her: stress that potentially heart attacks and kills her, or just straight damage. And I don't know. I think because I'm never going to get, like, I don't see myself ever really using this otherwise. I think I'm going to try the Hero's Ring. Um, maybe that just protects her from the stress damage, and then all we have to worry about is her health. That'll make the complexity of keeping her alive a lot simpler. Um, additionally, her having Divine Comfort would actually probably be for the best. Uh, let me grab that real quick on her. Oh, that was that was wonderful. Okay, uh, it does raise the question of um, 
are, are these are these things that we're starting to see um what exactly are they have the townspeople always been like this you know is there something wrong with the people that we're trying to save even like if I, is it too late have they already been corrupted and we're just now starting to glimpse that reality uh, so many questions no answers another thing that I want to do because a number of people have been asking for it lately is uh, I'm just going to go over kind of the characters that we're taking out I'm going to try to do this um, at least over the next few episodes which may be all the episodes left on this save file uh, to kind of explain the trinket choices and things like that. Um, the series wasn't necessarily designed to be a guide to what to do, but a lot of people are watching me play and wondering, like, how are you winning with that? When I try that combination of characters together, they die in a fire. So, with that in mind, uh, this is Kelly. Kelly is built as my sort of uh, very traditional uh, Vestal build. Uh, she's going to be in the back line. We're going to want to give her stuff like Judgment, heals herself, and does decent damage. Uh, Divine Grace, which is her targeted heal. Divine Comfort, which is her party heal. And and you've got some options on this last one, just kind of a utility attack. I like Hand of Light better than the other options. Uh, Illumination, Dazzling Light. Um, I'll explain why I don't generally get along with Dazzling Light very well, but uh, Hand of Light with the negative 30 damage uh, debuff, that can be really solid uh, if you are fighting a large enemy, don't have any healing that you need to do, uh, getting them to the point that they're kind of harmless uh, can totally work. The uh, the trinkets that I've got going here, the Tough Ring, largely due to the idea um, that our Vestal just hangs out at the back, doesn't really fight much, needs to stay alive. Uh, the protection and HP are great. The negative damage is terrible for most characters, but not really that bad for her. And then the Sacred Scroll. Uh, Sacred Scroll, less stress damage, awesome. Offsets that a little bit. Um, but basically we're using it for the plus 33% heal skills. Uh, that's the whole reason she's in the party, is just to toss out heals. That's great. And then as you can see, the negative 30% stun skill chance, and that's why I'm not a huge fan of Dazzling Light. Uh, she's not going to land it very often, like not going to land the stun on it very often. You could argue that the Torchlight is helpful, but it's not helpful enough to me. Already explained what was going on with Pesh there. And so with Crone, Crone is one of two High Women builds uh, that, that I've come to use. Um, very straightforward on what is going on with the, uh, the skills themselves. We're either all melee or we're all ranged, or at least as melee as you can get. Uh, with this particular character, we're going with the all ranged approach. So he's set up to use point blank shot. Um, he should actually be in that position to start out with. He's set up to use point blank shot to move himself back. And once he's back, he can do pistol shots. He can do grape shot blasts. Tracking shot is really just there in case he ends up in an awkward position. Um, maybe we don't want to do damage with him, but we don't want to pass. Maybe uh, he's in the front rank and there's no enemy also in the front rank. You know, the, the enemy that's in the front is going to die from bleed or it's a corpse or something like that. Uh, you can use it to sort of stall out for a moment. And uh, supporting that kind of mentality. We've got the quick draw charm, which is the one that maybe people uh, would question more often than not. It's only really benefiting you on the first round, and then there's a penalty. But the way I look at it is the plus eight speed on the first round, the plus five crit on the first round, means that that first point blank shot is coming out quick, and it has a really good chance of critting, doing a ton of damage, etc, etc. The negative speed on... Uh, rounds after the first round you might think of like that's a penalty right but as we're going to see when we look at this grave robber that is almost always paired with him I actually like him to go last because I would like every opportunity to set up for another point blank shot uh, so if I can get him shuffled back to the front position so he can point blank every single turn that's ideal moving on Omond here in and I guess I, I can talk about the the quirks but they're they're not things you get to choose as much right like 
Oh, we got plus five accuracy. I'm going to lock that in. Oh, we got stun resistance. Let's go ahead and lock that in. We got Eldritch Slayer. Let's go ahead and lock that in. Um, it's not necessarily something you have all the control over, so I'm not going to spend as much time dwelling on that. With Omond here, we have got a Grave Robber again paired to work with a High Women. So she is looking primarily at Shadow Fading over and over and over again. We want her speed super high. Look at that, 12 speed compared to his seven. And after the first round, he's getting that minus three. So she's almost always gonna go first, which means she's almost always gonna be able to shadow fade to set him back up. And if for any reason uh, she ends up in the second position and can't do that, we get reshuffled, whatever the case may be. Uh, Lunge is gonna get her back to the front. She can use flashing daggers from the mid uh, to just do damage. This pairs nicely with the Jester that I'm normally also using. And then Toxin Trickery just passes turns for me, more than it does anything. Curing Bleed and Blight is nice, getting the speed is nice, but it really just gives me the opportunity to go, uh, I'm in the wrong position, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in second rank and I don't want to move back, and I am about to do a point blank shot, I'll just pass with that. Uh, you'll notice that Shadow Fade's plus 30 dodge means that if we're just using it consistently, her dodge stat gets real silly real quick, and she serves as a fairly decent frontline tank. And that's going to happen over and over again. For Trinkets, Stunning Satchel, all about the stunning, the stunning over and over again. And a fairly good, uh, just all-around utility, Raider Salisman. Uh, crit Chance, awesome. Speed, awesome, especially for her. The Trap Disarm is great. The scouting chance is great. Food consumed is not really that bad. And uh, that's that's basically the ideology behind these guys. We're going to be sending them into a long exterminate mission. Hopefully everything pans out here. Also, because I've already spent like 10 minutes jabbering, this is going to be the longest video of all time. But hey, you guys asked for it, right? You wanted to know what was going on with the characters. Uh, I believe the, the food is it. Oh, God. It's been increased, right? That was also real terrifying. Uh, that makes me question whether or not there's something in our food now. Oh, it happened again. Okay. Uh, we're going into the wield, so we need pretty much lots of everything. It's terrible when it comes to status effects. There's also curios to interact with for both. Uh, so we're going to do like this. Keys suddenly seem to make a lot more sense considering there are now little hidden rooms. We uh, we haven't spotted one yet, but we're going out with a grave robber, so scouts should be happening just constantly. Uh, also, shovels. We need we need lots of shovels. I'm gonna overpack because that's what I do. Uh, pretty okay with that. We got all the bases covered. We've over provisioned for the things. And cross your fingers, guys. Pray with me now that our Vestal does not die a horrible death. Say a little prayer to the Holy Flame, asking for her to somehow survive all of this. If she does, we'd really just need to do this like two times, I think, if I'm if my math is correctish. Uh, she should get up to like 48 resolve XP after running two long dungeons with the ancestor portrait. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. Yeah, uh, maybe that, that hero's ring is going to get an opportunity to prove itself sooner than I thought. Oh, man. Um, we are going to... We are going to dig that up, but I'm actually going to wait until we're on our way back through. Um, just because... We might get an opportunity to use up a little bit of our inventory space between now and then. And... Yeah, yeah. Um, what would we really... Let's let's just go ahead and start doing it. 750 gold. Decent. Easy fight to start with. Also digging that. And see, just every time... Broken. 15 Maintain speed right now. The offensive. So, with his 15 speed, he's going first, right? And then I get to do that. Everything is grand. We'll take a little grave nibble. Oh man, so much for a little grave nibble. Ugh, that was way more damage than it needed to be. 
Uh, so that could heal for three to five. That has basically no chance of stunning. So I guess heal is what you're doing for us, Pesh. Even though it's unlikely to be the kind of heals we're going to need here. Um, and you to 11. And he dodged it. Yeah, should have should have just healed. It's okay. Oh, and she goes first again. That's too bad. All right. Well then, uh, this is why I have the other stuff so that she could pass her turn if need be. I don't see her resisting a champion dungeon's attempts to stun her. Oh my God, she did. Crazy As things. The fiend falls, a faint hope okay. Blossoms. Very crazy things, actually. Um, let's just have her heal herself. Yeah. Totally crit for eight. Yeah, that's not so great. I wonder... I know this has been tweaked the onslaught. over time. Destroy them all. And I actually forget what it finally landed at. Most enemies are going to prefer the character with the lowest HP, but is that... I thought it was percentage-based now. That at one point it was, uh, like, actual HP, but when that was going on, Make like, it... Yourself a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. It uh, mostly just led to enemies avoiding ever attacking your tanky characters because they had more HP, and, uh... I think... Oh, I forgot to change them out. That's actually kind of terrible, but not so much in this particular situation. Uh, I kind of want Mr. Raving Madman to uh, die a terrible death, like, as soon as possible. Why do you keep missing suddenly? Um, sure. Why not? Yeah, I resisted. And, of course... Yeah, there's no way that she comes out of this without that happening. Come on, Hero's Ring. You can do it. No, you can't. Okay, that was totally worthless. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. Only the faithless fear death. I mean, yeah, but you don't have to go looking for it. Oh god, she took 20 from that? Yeesh. Well, obviously this gamble has turned out super well so far. What with our... Oh, please Death don't move him. Please don't move him. Laps in concentration. That's not so good. Okay. I really feel like uh, one of the only chances for our... Uh, Press disadvantage. Oh, Give them no quarter. For uh, Pethier to have... Uh, to have survived all this was going to be for her to become, like, super Peth by making uh, that check. Unfortunately, that did not happen, which makes me super sad. And there is no way that 45... Wow. Only the faithful. Or only the unfaithful through death. Yep, you, you've said that before. Let's just hope she doesn't uh, completely stress out the rest of our party. Confidence get a kill there. As the enemy crumbles. And then we can do that, I guess, for nine. That's, that's something. Uh, let's go ahead and get your HP back up into a decent enough area. Ugh. Ugh. There is also always the possibility that the game is finally really kind to me and that a complete 100% of room battles long mission is done super early, like all of those crazy Reddit posts I keep talking about where uh, people were like, I took one step into the dungeon and then my uh, mission was completed. Yeah. Uh, I've yet to experience that and there's no time like the present. So... Get right on it, RNG. Please have generated for me a dungeon that is super duper kind to me. I figured why not. She healed three HP across the party. That is something. 
that gets a second sun, that would be glorious. Unfortunately, I really need this corpse to not be here anymore. Only if you pain, shall we know forgiveness. So this is where I'm talking about the, uh, the lowered speed uh, being handy just for the opportunity. Oh, why did I try to stun the corpse? I'm just trying to clear it, obviously. <laughs> um, just being handy from setting him up, having everybody else able to take their actions first. Uh, it did not work out for me in this particular instance for obvious reasons. But I think that it's uh, in large part due to us kind of uh, gimping our party here. One to three again. Yeah, stun that corpse. Tree branch smackdown, please dodge. Thank you. That is uh, what it looks like to be a dodge tank. Let's just get this out of the way. And now we should just be able to drill on this guy. And he should be going down pretty quickly here. 70. I imagine this will take two turns for us to pull off. Um, let's go ahead and throw our party heal, kind of top everybody up. I mean, why not? Crit, hey, stress In relief. Radiance, may we find It'll probably victory. never matter. Ow. Yep, that's an ow. I have been trying to set up this stupid point blank shot for like four turns. Come on, man. Okay. Now is our time. No. You resisted my super stun? That's not nice. That's not nice at all. I do not appreciate that, sir. <sighs> yep. Okay, great. You mark yourself for the giant holding a tree. Another tree branch smackdown. Another swap position. You do need a healer. Uh, luckily, you are in a party with two healers. However, it's only kind of the day job of one of those two healers. Thank you. Man, if that stun would have just happened last time so that that point blank shot could have come out a little bit sooner, everybody would have been happier. And, okay. Uh, we will try for just the stacked heals on him, I guess. Heal for three. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Man. Right out the gate, the uh, the stress levels are, of course, extremely intimidating. Not gonna lie. That's a little bit more what I was expecting. I don't even know... Stun resist, 135. Let me run the number really quick here. 135. So basically, four... Uh, I really don't have that great of a chance of stunning you. Well, uh, maybe that's with the current applied. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the... That's got to just be base, right? It doesn't go down whenever he is not stunned. At least I don't think it does. Huh. Well then... Okay. Yeah, it does. Uh, that is actually affected by that. So, he's at plus 80 right now, so it's 95 base. And I've got 169. So I've got like a 75% chance. Okay. I guess it... It seems suddenly more rational that uh, that could have happened. And let's see here. Uh, anything I can get rid of to take this? I kind of like the idea of emeralds. The common protection stone is probably not worth holding on to. Contents are mine, but they don't matter, and all it does is stress us out. Okay. Obviously. We did not get lucky enough to immediately complete the dungeon. But what lore horrors lie ahead? Yeah. Okay, okay. You can throw this in the uh, terrible idea column, by the way. <laughs> oh, we're going to make it work. I promise. Oh, that's so many beautiful, beautiful things. I want that sapphire a lot. I want it more than I want is a struck. torch, right? A blazing star is born. Citrine can meh right off. Uh, but back to our starting square. And something that I had 
complained slash mentioned uh, numerous times actually did get fixed in the final release. You can camp in this room now. Uh, they they removed the we well, can't camp in the starting room now. It's if you've left the starting room and come back to it, everything is a okay. Really? Wow, that is unfortunate. Uh, we don't have any space for it, so we're just gonna use the that way is now. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Uh, Pesh continues to freak the rest of the party out and stumble Watch herself step. right into things. Wow. Yeah, that was a little unexpected. <laughs> it's not every day that you get to run into Death's door. Oh, great. And she refuses to eat anymore. That is okay. It's not every day you stumble right into Death's door while walking down a hallway. Yeah, this is going to be a whole adventure full of firsts. Oh, okay, okay. It's fine. We're fine. Everybody is fine. Let's get you to stop being a threat right away. And... Okay. I'm worried that you're going to just get stressed out and hit Death's door again in basically any second. So, we have to keep quite the eye on you. Um, healing doesn't really make any sense now that she's hit Death's door. That stun actually landed and is probably the most she will contribute to this entire dungeon. Also, Callie is incapable of hitting things. Exposed Ow. to a killing blow. Ow. That's not okay. Yes, again. Thank you, Miss Masochist. Uh, also, you are like seconds away from killing yourself due to stress. Anybody want to heal? Please, please work. Thank you. Okay. Crisis averted for one round at least. Uh. That's good and bad. Uh, there are upsides to that happening. Um, I could actually potentially kill you. But I'm going to be a little safer. I'm worried that she would hit 0 HP and 200 stress on the same attack. Yeah. I, I, th I think that was good. Oh, but please just... Please just... That's all I've got. Please just. Alright, stun there. Slice and dice is fine. Especially if we dodge it. Punishment is less fine. This guy really, like, in the front has attacks that hit the whole party, and in the back has attacks that hit the back ranks. I don't think I've ever paid that much attention to where he can hit. I, I mean, I guess he's, he's carrying a whip, but at the same time, it's only that long, and he's standing way back here. Oh, I just wouldn't have assumed it could have reached all the way over here. It seems a little far-fetched. Uh, let's use a bandage. Never mind, let's not use a bandage. She thrives on pain, after all. What would he do for you? Okay. Um, crit heal is something. It's going to basically be taken away from you due to the bleed, but, you know, it's something. Okay. Um, not too bad. If we can keep him from acting this turn, he'll die without too much trouble. And prodigious size alone does not destroy giant overkill. Blade. Okay, uh, it's probably not worth even bothering. Let's just do the party heal. This guy's up front with just rush shots, so uh, I think I should be okay there. Uh, and now that you're down to just four, it's probably not worth bothering. We'll just heal that off of you. And... Please... Yeah, no more threat. Okay. Throw out a couple of quick heals here. Nice. Suddenly I'm thinking the uh, gesture would have made <laughs> a lot of sense to have brought with her. Oh good, she marked herself. That's just what I like to see. And it's something. She's she's helping. She's trying to be helpful. Can you imagine being Pesh in this situation? 
like you've just arrived. Like, I don't even know why you've come here. Ooh. These nightmarish creatures Ooh. can be felled. They can be beaten. Well, you know what? That's better than what I've got right now. Uh, I want to take this back with me, obviously. It's worth, like, way too much to just toss. Um, let's give that stuff to you. Take that. Everything else stacks. Awesome. That actually worked out pretty well. Yeah, so, you know, you've come to this place hearing maybe horrible tales of what's going on here, and you're... Really? It doesn't need... I guess it doesn't need anything, and it had nothing inside it. Okay. Uh, you've maybe heard horrible tales of sort of what's going on in this manner. Your religious conviction compels you to uh, come and stop this abomination. You show up and are met with some grizzled and hardened adventurers that have been doing this for like, I don't know, the past year maybe. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. And uh, they're like, we like the, the cut brink, of your jib, kid. Facing the abyss. Yep, yep. Got a healer. Oh, she refused. No, the light commands by pain. Can I... I wonder if... Does she refuse the direct heal? Oh, no, it won't work. Okay. Uh, that answers that question. And really, is something debuffing your accuracy that I'm unaware of? Okay, um, please don't do that to yourself. Anyway, you know, you step off the stagecoach and a uh, party of grizzled adventurers goes, Hey kid, we like the cut of your jib. Why don't you come with us into the, like, darkest area of the forest and just see what happened. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I can't, can't really blame her. Excuse me. Can't really blame her. Uh, I'd probably be a little bit terrified if I were in her shoes, too. She's about to be back at death's door. And she's basically just constantly having a heart attack. Like, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Super freaking out. Wow, that's awful, actually. Okay. Uh, she's just basically super freaking out the entire time. <sighs> Only trying to keep herself alive. Standing back, just reading from her good book. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was what I expected there. You're going to be right back at death's door again. <sighs> yeah, yeah. And now the true of test. Hold fast, or expire. I wonder if we're, like, if it's harder to have one party member that is losing it, or to just have three party members. Their stress probably would not be this high if not for her being here. But at the same time, like, she's able to contribute something from time to time, right? Like, she could do that, and everybody's, yay, she killed something. I don't know. That's a good question. I've beaten dungeons with just three guys. I've had people die, like, really early on before. So it is possible that I accomplish this. Maybe not likely, but possible that I accomplish this. Oh, of course not. Okay. Wow, I actually really hate that. Um, you know, if she explicitly refuses to heal, you get your turn back, but you know, if you were in a situation where she was maybe at death's door and you tried to use a party heal, she would refuse it, but the, uh, the command would just be cemented and go forward. Um, I don't really even think I have any chance of stunning him with his 129 to resist up there. So we're going to talk some trickery from the front. Big slime. Yeah, that was a fairly large slime. The very precipice of oblivion. That's real bad. Please, thank you. Uh, to to the person who uh, originally recommended power leveling a uh, 
a new character on a champion dungeon run, you know who you are. I would very much like for you to be taking a look at your handiwork right now and see what you've gotten me into. Okay. Try that again. Although her HP is probably meaningless as virtually anything could send her down to zero HP. Uh, and he dodged. Okay. Diophonesis. That's awful. The fact that he can summon more things is real bad, actually. Uh, like, we really need to get a handle on what is going on right now. <sighs> okay. Uh, crit slime. Let me guess. No? Yep. Yep. That's, that's a heart attack. Okay. That's what I expected. And... Masochist is, like, the worst thing that she could have. Because she refuses heals all the time on it. Because she likes the pain. And, um... Uh, yeah. That's, that's kind of the one thing we need her to accept. Is, please let us heal you off of death's door. Because you will be on it constantly. And she didn't care at all. We need a little bit of cooperation here, Pesh. Yeah, work with me. Oh, please don't. Okay, marked is not the worst thing. I thought she was going to do damage to herself and potentially kill herself with that. You're not giving up. Okay, I appreciate it. I really do. Okay. This could be a big turn for us. He's down to 19 HP. That wasn't quite the damage I was looking for. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What are you going to do? That's, uh, that's fine. Alright, moving up. That's totally okay. You're allowed to move around if you'd like. Oh, God. Please. Please just kill it. Oh, boy. Okay. We can, can flash some daggers at it. Halfway there. Slime smack. That's a lot better than the double stun. Uh, okay. Do a full party heal. That was actually pretty solid as party heals go. Uh, and then we're like, a decisive that's pummeling. a lot better. I like that more than I like one. A judgment to the finish the job. The beast, oh my the greater the god! Glory. I was actually Be worried. Wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I was actually worried there that it was possible. The light. The promise of safety. We were in a position that we just could not win. Like, he would continue to summon new foes for us faster than we would ever be able to kill them. Oh my god. Really, with the heirlooms. Please, stop. Uh, okay. It's okay. We're okay. Uh, we're not okay. Them blighting the, the back rows is actually going to be pretty awful here. Um, yay, point blank shot. That's, that's why... That's why you do that. Uh, let's get rid of you for a turn. Escape Cloud. I hate... I actually think these guys are more dangerous when they're in the front. You get two of them, they'll just rotate Escape Cloud, which is an AoE blight, which is, like, for 15? Jesus. Um, yeah, it's, it's no joke. Uh, you don't have much of a stun resist. Like, this is possible... It's not happening, but it was possible. And Crone, we were really neglecting you in that last fight. Thanks for holding in there, buddy. Alrighty. Now, we could Toxin Trickery as it would actually be useful to us, but uh, we'll do that instead. The Reign of Blight. Alright, so the 190 now. Yeah, yeah, escape cloud's gonna happen repeatedly, in fact. Good resist, though. This half our freaking party is currently blighted. Um, let's do a little bit of that. Basically, ward off any of the blight damage for a turn. Please, please don't. Oh, really, please don't. Uh, this is actually a terrible party composition for you to decide. For you to decide to get stunned, man. For you to decide to get marked against, uh, as they actually respond to that, 
and uh, I would really prefer that that's not something we had to deal with at the moment. Go away, please. Okay. Okay. 14 is not super amazing. Oh, jeez. You're taking 8 per turn. I should probably have done something about that by now. Oh, never mind. I don't... I don't need to... I don't need to do anything about it. It'll be okay. Alrighty. She at least accepted a heal. That's progress. She's kind of cooperating. Man, such good resists. Um... Say we just... More party healing. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be... A miracle. <laughs> I'm just thinking about, like how much there is left to do here and making it out of this alive is going to be a miracle oh come on two uh, all right i'm probably not going to remove four okay that was a little bit of a weird choice you just made um this could have killed him but I literally hit him for one damage. Alrighty then. Five taking four. Uh, that's actually real dangerous, but let's, let's just kill him. Thank you. That that's the thing that you did. I am now going to hit zero from the blight. Anti venom. Now So let's do this. Uh, followed by this. Uh, alright, that's probably years. the best thing that could have happened, except we got a the tapeworm. Oh, wow. The order, I don't even know what the order of that was. Because the Blight would have sent her, did she not? take blight damage that turn? I swear she had four for one round. Strange. I think the game processed that in a very weird... Oh, it's not even her turn yet. Oh, I see. She took the stress on somebody else's turn. Okay, never mind. The game knows what it's doing. I am just dumb. Alright, that was her turn. Um... I mean... I don't really want to spend the time moving, so I think I'm going to probably not manage to talk some trickery or to uh, stun him again. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Take it three. Oh, please don't. Damn it. Oh, I don't love that. I don't love that at all. Yes, again. Breathe in the vapors. Okay. Well, I don't love that at all. Uh, that can do three to six. Let's go for it. Alright. One to go. You got this. You got this. Yeah, maybe you don't got this. Okay. Uh, let's try to get rid of this 12. Please, just do it. You've endured enough. Your soul has been plenty rejuvenated. Thank you. Okay. That's something. I mean, it lowered his accuracy. Theoretically, he could miss this turn. And we have made it out of this. Alive. Somehow. Just somehow. Oh. Okay. Maybe it... I shouldn't be counting my chickens, but, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> please, just, please, please, just please. Please just die before you're able to do anything. Okay, okay, it's, it's over. Oh, Jesus. This expedition at least promises success. All right, then. RN Jesus, please save me. You're my only hope. Uh, this is a... 
Eldritch Altar, which is a loot item. I'm going to use Anti-Venom on it. Never mind. Oh, it's the... Never mind. That's the wrong thing at all. I need holy water for this, and I didn't bring any holy water. Otherwise, it is stress, I believe. You want to see something really funny? I can actually lower her stress by doing this. Get her down to 182, and then just have her eat some food. <laughs> Because otherwise, uh, like, she might have lost it from walking through the hallway. Oh, God. Does this seem like a good time to camp? Are we, have we made it? I mean, we're like a fourth of the way through the dungeon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're almost a third of the way through the dungeon. We might camp. Before we're going any further, especially, you know, looks like we're going to have a hallway and then a room battle immediately after it. Let us do that. Let us go ahead and camp. We'll Gathered feast. Close in tenuous firelight. Oh, really? Companionship. I don't even understand. Feasting. More blood soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. I really don't even understand. Um... Okay, I feasted and she died. <sighs> That's really, really, really sad. What? I don't... I mean... Aww. Aww. <sighs> I can't go on. I don't have the will to persevere anymore. I've been beaten by this dungeon and this terrible, terrible loss. Why did that happen? Someone tell me why that happened. Okay. Uh, these guys all have max level. I mean, I could persevere for them to get enough stress to freak out. I don't know. I don't see the, the need to uh, actually do that. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's do some gallows humor. That actually worked out fairly well. We are some morbid guys at this campfire. Um, okay, and and gals, I use guys. You know, hey, you guys! Yeah. But uh, wow, um, that will also reduce stress, kind of regardless. And I can't leave from here, so let's rest. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. And then we're just going to leave. Um, and this was a 45-minute video to make it this far. I can't even imagine where it's going to go from here. And uh, I don't see the point in persevering with a level 6 group. You cannot learn a thing you think you know. Oh, I learned some things. I learned about never trying that ever again. <sighs> Poor dead masochistic vessel. You never had a prayer. Hey, irrepressible. I'd probably rather have irrepressible, actually. Uh, fast healing is, I mean, it's something. Slow draw, resilient, I can deal with. Oh, man. That just... Somebody please explain to me what happened. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Somebody explain to me what happened as far as the, uh, that final heart attack. Like, okay, we're at the campfire. You're super stressed out. I get it. Well, let's feast. And it killed her. Like, why did, why would that have killed her? Even if she had the heart attack, why did she not just go to zero HP? Like, how did she take additional damage from that? I really don't understand what happened there and would love for somebody to point me in the right direction. Otherwise, man, 
They did not measure up to the fierce creatures arrayed against them. Pesh met their final fate during the quest. Oh. All right. Others de-stressed and removed some diseases. Uh, we did remove two there, which I'm pretty okay with. Uh, Dive has still got some stress removing to do, obviously. Um, really? Hey, I got a crusader. Hey, everybody. Meet Nesden. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Obsessed with self-worship. Warren tactician. And irrepressible. Smite. Bulwark of faith. Battle heal. Holy lance. Alrighty. Uh, he is exactly Pekoff. <laughs> um, well, we might have to uh, get some some new uh, options for you as far as skills are concerned. But other than that, welcome to the team, Nezin. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. We did learn, Nezdin, you're not going to be subjected to the same fate. Uh, I am thinking we are probably just going to have to wait until we actually get a, some characters we need. I'm looking for occultists. I'm looking for Vestals now, particularly. Um, I'd even take an Arbalist. I'd even take an Arbalist. Uh, Lanquitoct. Welcome to the team. Shoot, bandage, and pillage. The dancing steps of war. You are a slayer of many things. We're going to deck her out with Battlefield Bandage. We'll try to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I need to. I need my second string guys to uh, to be ready and raring to go here, as uh, I need some healers to send into the darkest dungeon. Um, I think this means one week to get Marie and Dive back into fighting shape, and I will probably end up taking this level three, level four crew. Uh, in the meantime, to maybe get them uh, a little bit more experience and see how that plays. I hope you guys enjoyed my terrible misery in this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe because there's lots more of my misery to come. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos. And I will catch you guys next time.